dilations and similarity in the coordinate plane. This is 7.6a, and we have 11 previous videos for Chapter 7. Many photographs on the web are in JPEG format, which is an acronym for Joint Photographic Experts Group. And when we drag a corner of a JPEG image to enlarge or reduce it, the underlying program uses coordinates and similarity to change the image's size. A dilation is a transformation that changes the size of a figure, but not its shape. And the pre-image and the image are always similar. A scale factor describes how much the figure is enlarged or reduced. For a dilation with scale factor k, that would be the number, we're representing, representing it by k, we can find the image of a point by multiplying each coordinate by that k, whatever the number is. For x and y values are a, b, we would do k times a and k times b, okay? So for a computer graphics application, we can draw the border of a picture after a dilation with a scale factor of 5 halves. So the first thing we do is, here we've got our little pug, we multiply the vertices of the picture. So this is at, this is our A and it's at 0, 0, B is at 0, 4, C is at 4, 4, and D is at 4, 0. So we multiply every single one of these X and Y values by 5 halves. Okay, so we have our pug, A, B, C, D, and we'll have pug prime, which is the A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, okay? So this is going to be our pre-image, and that's going to be our image. We take all of the coordinates of A, B, C, D, we multiply the X and the Y by five halves, and we'll get A prime, C prime, A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, okay? Once we have our prime coordinates, we plot the points and draw the rectangle. And then we have a larger pug, see? By five halves. If a scale factor of a dilation is greater than one, it's an enlargement because we'd be multiplying it by more than one. One times one is one, it's the same size. But one times two, it's now two times larger. One times three, it's three times larger, okay? So if that K is larger than a one, it's an enlargement. And if the scale factor is less than 1, k is less than 1, it's a reduction. If we're multiplying it by a number less than 1, like half, if we multiply it by half, we're cutting the size of it in half. It's a reduction, okay? Finding coordinates of similar triangles. Given that triangle AOB is similar to triangle COD, we can find the coordinates of D, point D and the scale factor. So let's take a look at this. We've got AOB, the pink one, and COD, the blue one, okay? Since they're similar to each other, we can write AO over CO is equal to OB over OD. We substitute in the values and AO is two units CO is four units, so we have a two over a four. OB is three units. And we can look on here and see D, but we're supposed to be looking for it, okay? So we're gonna write OD. Now we can do cross products. We have two OD times three, is equal to three times four, okay? Which is two OD is equal to 12. We divide both sides by the coefficient two and find out that the distance OD is a 6, so it's at 6. So D lies on the x-axis, so its y-coordinate is 0, and since OD equals 6, its x-coordinate must be 6. And the coordinates of D are 6 for x, 0 for y. And if we take a 3, 0 pair, ordered pair, and we multiply both the x and y by a 2, we'll get the 6, 0, so we know the scale factor is 2. Okay. A similarity ratio and a scale factor are reciprocals of each other. So a similarity ratio would be the pre-image over the image. The scale factor would be the image over the pre-image. So it would be that number over that number, see? And the scale factor, we would flip those around, okay? So in this case, if the scale factor is a 2, we could write that as a 2 over 1, right? 
that means the similarity ratio is one half. We would flip the two over one around, okay? Here's proving triangles similar. It's given these ordered pairs for A, B, C, D, E. We need to prove that triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle A, D, E. We plot the given points and draw the triangles. Next, we use the distance formula to find the side lengths. So you should be familiar with the distance formula by now, right? You take the first point and the second point, and it's going to equal this formula. All right, so that's what we're going to do with the x and y values. So we find for AB from here to B is 2 square root of 2. And we find that AC on this side is square root of 5. And AD, this entire length here, is 4 square root of 2. And AE, this entire length, is 2 square root of 5. Now we find the similarity ratio. AB over AD would be 2 square root of 2 over 4 square root of 2. This square root of 2 over square root of 2 cancels out as a 1, and we end up with 2 fourths, which simplifies to 1 half. And AC over AE is square root of 5 over 2 square root of 5. These cancel out as a 1, and we're left with a half. Because remember, there's like an invisible 1 in front of that square root of 5. Okay? If you don't know what I just did, I've said it many times in this playlist, and I'm sorry if you're tired of me repeating it, but some of you stumbled upon this video. If you don't understand how to simplify radicals, put them in their simplest form, you need to go back and watch Algebra 1, Chapter 11, because it's like you missed the beginning of a movie, and you're wondering what's going on. So fill in your knowledge and catch up, okay? So since AB over AD is equal to AC over AE, they're both a half, and angle A is congruent to angle A. So the angle A for the little triangle is congruent to the angle A for the big pink triangle, okay? That's by the reflexive property. Then triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADE by side angle side similarity. We have a side angle side similarity, okay? We've got another one. We're going to use SSS similarity theorem. And we first learned this in video 7.3a, so some of you are going to be familiar with this. We can graph the image of triangle ABC after a dilation with scale factor 2. Then we can verify that triangle A prime, B prime, C prime is similar to triangle ABC. And the first thing we do is multiply each coordinate by 2. So if we knew the coordinates of triangle ABC, our scale factor is 2, so we multiply all the x and y coordinates by 2, and we get a prime, b prime, c prime. Then we graph a prime, b prime, c prime from the information we have here from those ordered pairs, okay? Now what we do is we use the distance formula, again, this guy, to find the side lengths. So from a to b, for the pink one, this little bit right here is a 2 square root of 2. And a prime, b prime is a 4 square root of 2, right here for the blue one. For b, c, the bottom, that's square root of 10. And for b prime, c prime, it's 2 square root of 10. For a, c, this one on the right side is a square root of 10. And a prime, c prime over here is a 2 square root of 10. Now we find the similarity ratio. A prime B prime over AB is a 4 square root of 2 over a 2 square root of 2. The square root of 2's can cancel each other out as a 1, and we're left 4 halves, which is equal to 2. B prime C prime over BC is a 2 square root of 10 over a square root of 10. The square root of 10's cancel out, and we're left with a 2. A prime C prime is a 2 square root of 10 over AC, which is square root of 10. That again cancels out as a 2. So that's a 2, that's a 2, that's a 2. So since this is a 2, and this is a 2, and this is a 2, they're all equal to each other, and triangle ABC is similar to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime by side, side, side. This side is congruent to this side, is similar. This is similar to this one, this is similar to this one, okay? 
So a dilation is an enlargement or reduction of a figure through a point called the center of dilation. And you can find the center of dilation by connecting their points to see where they meet. So you can make like a little dotted line through here and say, okay, where is this meeting? And for all the examples in this video, our center of dilation was the origin zero, zero, okay? So you draw a line from A and A prime all the way to like some point to see where all three segments meet, okay? It's like a vanishing point in the drawing that we talked about before. And the size of the enlargement or reduction is called the scale factor of the dilation. Sorry about the focus. When similar triangles are drawn in the coordinate plane, a combination of the distance formula and one of the similarity theorems, like we use side angle side similarity for this one, and we used SSS, side 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 similarity, for that one. Okay? So those can be used to prove that the triangles are similar. All right? So the word dilation means to expand. So when your pupils dilate, they open wide. When you go into a dark room, your pupils open up and get wider to let more light in, okay? They can also go back down smaller when you go back out in the light, okay? Our next video is segment partition. That's the second part of this lesson. After that, we're gonna do direct variation before moving on to chapter eight, okay? So, now you know what JPEG stands for, and I hope you can do proving triangles similar using these similarity theorems, okay? Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.